Hello, welcome back to another walkthrough of Demon Souls. Today we are at Island's Edge and we are going to take on the Adjudicator. That's the boss at the end. Um, the last time I tried it, I got to the boss and he killed me within two licks. So <laughs> I'm going to make sure to watch out for his tongue. I'm going to get right down close to his body. Uh, we're going we're gonna to show him who's boss, you know what I'm saying? So without any further delay, let's just dive straight into the video and claim ourselves some Demon Souls. Booyah! Okay, so here we start. The rolling skeletons can become a, uh, a problem, so the only way to deal with them is one at a time. Nice and slow, don't rush. Um, and don't allow them to capitalize on the heavy blows because they break your shield and it's just devastating. They just slice you up in seconds. So you just gotta make sure that you've got enough stamina at all times. Um, watch out for this guy on the stairs because there's another one um, at the top who's firing some magic arrows and they can become a problem as well. They slow down your pace. So just take him out with a bit of magic if you've got some. If not, um, arrows work just as well, I suppose. Now, there is two at the top of the stairs. I think he is one. There's another one. If you run up the stairs, they'll both charge you together, which is exactly the opposite of what you want. If two of them are coming at you at once, done deal, mate. You might as well just go home. Just got to throw that out there, guys. Um, there is a lot of souls, like um, warrior souls and stuff like that. That I dotted around. Obviously, um, I've already had a few runs of this map. And when you collect them, they disappear. They're not there anymore. So, you will have to um, have a look around. They are there. Just be a little bit vigilant. Um, and you, I'm sure you can collect them. you got to watch out for these stingrays. Because um, those shards, they've got like a, an aimer missile. <laughs> they will find you. So, um make sure that you avoid them they do quite a lot of damage even if your guards up they do quite a lot of damage a damage so the best way to is um, avoid them and just take them out as quickly as possible the health isn't all that great so one or two little blasts of some magic and you should take them out no problem now I found a little shortcut here um, this map is trap ridden so um, that little shortcut just jumps over the trap there there's a couple of souls around here as well um, so again just look out for them if it's your first run through you will find them So yeah, as you can see, oh, as you can see, um, there's a lot of hidden enemies to catch you out on the cliff edge, so just be wary. Um, what I've found is, if I just keep on attacking them with the, um, the magic arrow, you can never actually get enough time to pick up his heavy sword and, and attack him, so that's a great way of taking care of them. And again, rinse and repeat with him. I tried it with the um, the fire spray. That doesn't do enough damage to sort of knock the um, the weapon down. So um, I find the magic arrow is a lot better for that. To be honest, if you know what you're doing with this map, you can run through it fairly stress-free in no time at all. Um, obviously, it took me quite a while to get the gist of it and stuff like that, but um, once you know where to go, it's pretty straightforward. There's another soul around here somewhere. Have a look through it. Just make sure that every time you enter some of these tunnels or whatever, Right here, you see, there's a trap. You, you step on the trap, 
and some arrows um, fired at you so make sure that your guards up at all time as you can hear I'm button bashing the hell out of my um, my trigger because I hate these guys they come up to you with samurai swords and they just do so much damage so I'll try and get as much damage as I can before he gets to the top of the stairs and then a bail I don't want to um, do no hand to hand combat with him so I'll bail up these stairs wait for him to follow and I sort of catch him at the very top of these stairs right here and I just do some damage before he manages to, um, to do anything really and that's how you take care of him no stress at all So yeah, all you got to do is just stay out of um, the sweeping sword that he's got on his right hand side and just attack the wound on his, um, in his stomach there. What you'll notice is the the sword in his left, well the cleaver, whatever you want to call it, is um, broken in half and that is what is stuck inside of his stomach. For some reason, he stabbed himself in his stomach. You just got to attack him, attack him, attack him. Blood squirting out everywhere like a nasty period. You just got to keep on yakking away at him, right? And then after a few hits, he'll fall down. You just got to go to his head and yam him in his head a few times. Um, he'll stand back up and you just got to rinse and repeat that whole process until you take him out. So what I might do is um, I might do some chopping, some editing, just so it's not so drawn out for you. And um, yeah, we'll see you at the finish line. A few moments later.
As you may or may not have noticed, we're not doing any damage while he's standing up. It's only when he falls down um, that we can do some damage. So the next time he falls down, I think we should be able to take him out and wrap this video up. Here we go. He goes down. We attack him for one last time. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you take out the Adjudicator. So, I think this has been a very successful um, walkthrough. Obviously, there's a lot in this level that you may have missed. But, just for the basics, that's how you get it done. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you again.